Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red. This Tuesday morning, sunny and bright. Um, Matthew chapter 11, verse 24. In 23, we was reading how Jesus tried to convey to the Capernaum people that problems were ahead of them if they didn't repent. And he used two words. Um, he used the word Hades uh, and he used the word miracles. Miracles are works of power, signs and wonders, things that Jesus did to convince the people and impact the people, not only of God's mercy and love, but his capability of achieving great things. And Hades is a place where disembodied spirits go. It's where people go outside of Christ when they die. Some people think they go to hell. They don't. Hell doesn't begin yet. Hades is the place of disembodied spirits. And in 24, Jesus makes reference to these words. He says, nevertheless, having said that, nevertheless, I say to you that it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for you. So notice he says these words, I say to you. So not just anybody, but I say to you. And when he says, I say to you, he's saying, I as God and saying to you, Capernaum people, that rejecting the gospel will lead you to a place where you will be in great trouble in judgment. He's saying, I don't want you to go into judgment where you will be facing the judge in a way that will give you the destination of your eternity in Hades. I don't want you to go there. I want you to receive this message. But if you don't receive it, you go into death still unforgiven. And then if you, when you face God in the place of unforgiveness, you then face God in his wrath and in his anger. Yes, God still will be merciful in judgment, but the judgment is coming upon you. And that eternity is a real place. And Jesus is really trying to convey this to the Capernaum people. I say to you, he says, meaning ego I me, I, I am, says to you that it will be more tolerable, meaning that there will be a kind of an evaluation in the process of the judgment that God offers to people that will be in some ways different based upon their revelation of light. So those in Sodom and Gomorrah, those who, as it were, came before the gospel was preached, they, in effect, will be evaluated in a different way to those who have received a greater revelation. It will be more tolerable. I mean, God will be more tolerant to you in his evaluation process. What that really means, maybe no, no one ever really knows. <clears throat> but if Jesus Christ is saying this in his message to the Capernaum people. He's saying it because it's true and that there is a sense in which in the judgment God will evaluate in a particular way depending upon the revelation of light we have been exposed to. And he's saying, you Capernaum, you have no excuses because you have received the full capacity of the revelation of the gospel. I am preaching to you the way to salvation and you are rejecting it. And if we reject the free gift of life, then we are in a very negative place. Brothers and sisters, you don't want to, I don't want to, and they out there don't want to go into judgment unforgiven. Receive Jesus into your heart today if you're not in a good place with God. Have a great day and I'll see you on Wednesday. God bless you.